What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Splattercat. Happy, as always, to be your guide into the Darkest Dungeon. Or at least some of the dimmer dungeons. I don't think we're going to make it to the darkest one. I've explained that. It's This game gets repetitive for me. It just it does, and there's not much I can do about that to make it go away. At the same time, I like the game a lot. I've got like 80 hours played, so... I don't know. What is this thing right here? The bloody dice. That's actually not awful because so many of his abilities rely on him dotting things on up. In today's episode, I wanted to take a look and see if I've got anybody that's ready to go after the Wizened Hag. The Wizened Hag is not so terrible. You've just got to build a group that's able to kill her. That's the big part. What is that for the Occultist, the Demon's Cauldron? I don't like that reward, so... Yeah, I don't like that reward, so we're not going to do that one. I like to wait until it rotates to something that I know I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of, and the Demon's Cauldron, meh. I don't know, it doesn't look that sexy to me. Instead, God, we are... I want to do a medium dungeon in the Warrens, or maybe... We haven't done anything in the Cove, so maybe we should send somebody to the Cove just in case. We're just going to get Crests, though, which is a little disappointing, but I guess we'll make it work. How much stuff do I have in here that I can sell? There we go, let's make some more cash. Whenever I'm low on cash, I tend to go through here and just get rid of the really, really shitty sort of tertiary items that I never use. Uh, that's the book that I could have equipped on the last run if I wasn't a complete blithering idiot. Would have made our lives a lot easier. Let's take... Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's either that or I could take one of my men at arms with me. I think I'd rather level up a leper right now, though. In addition, Valaine... He's in the third slot. He's got dash forward. He works a lot better in the second slot. What are my options for third slot people? Ross does not have any of the abilities that I want her to have. And so I'd have to make a decision here if I want to invest in her future. Because right now I don't like her abilities at all. They're kind of terrible. You want her to have shadow fade at the bare minimum. And you want her to have a thrown dagger. I don't keep lunge on because I don't think lunge is that useful. It can be, but... I don't know. Shadow Fade's nice if she gets pulled to the front, because then she can fade backwards back to where you want her to be, like in the third line. So I'll probably let's invest in her. That means she's a character that I probably won't fire because I've put money into her continued existence. But I'm gonna go with we'll go with Shadow Fade, Flashing Daggers, Thrown Dagger, Poison Darts can be pretty solid too. Poison Darts can be a pretty rowdy move. Toxin Trickery is not awful either. Oh, it cures Blight and Bleed? Oh, well, I'll take Toxin Trickery then. This one would have its uses if you're going up against a backline boss, but Toxin Trickery sounds like fun. Pilfer produces a supply item. I forgot about that one. All right, let's take him out. Let's level up our Grave Robber a little bit. The Grave Robber, it's a character that you probably want to focus a little on. Not a bad character at all. For him, we probably want to get him Word Construction 2 at the bare minimum. His abilities kind of suck compared to the other guy. Bell from Hell would be a lot more useful in a party that was running like a Arbalest or a party that's running a Houndmaster or a party that's conceivably running like a Bounty Hunter. Those would be all the groups that I would strongly consider bringing along. For right now, we've only got the best of the best surviving. Let's go ahead and give him Word Construction 2, just in case, so that he can actually... This sways the odds in your favor. The higher the upper bound is, the less your chances of rolling a zero, simply by adding more digits to the overall probability. I love Demon's Pull, so I'm going to give him Demon's Pull. I also like Abyssal Artillery, so I'm going to give him that one. Spending a bit of cash right now, but... Oh, really, he's a stress eater. He's got a flawed release. No kids for you. We will pray or flagellate. Well, if you can't fart for stress relief, what can you do? I know that's not what it says. Calm down, anal retentive people. It's fine. Hands from the abyss. It's not terrible. Let's play around with hands from the abyss. More useful on a darkness run, but still kind of funsies. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Why is the fourth bulb dimmer than the third one? Shouldn't they be the same? But no. One of his abilities does not hit the fourth spot, and so that would explain why the bulb is not lit. Let's embark. Bell from hell, what is the smell that you're hanging out of San Producing? 
Take a shovel. This is a short, right? So we'll take 12 food, like six of those. We're in the cove, so I'm not totally familiar. Not totes familiar with all the random stuff you can play around with. But I remember there's a lot of stuff that uses shovels. So I'll bring that. Be flushed out. Not pelagic nightmares. Whatever shall we do with pelagic? I don't like the narrator. Never have, never will. The, never, the narrator, I don't know. I think he's cool like the first time you hear him talk. But then once he's repeated the same lines like 400 times, you're just like, shut up. Please shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'll pull this guy to the front since that's the only real DPS ability that he's carrying right now. And I want him to hurt things. I'm going to say, I didn't think that hit anybody, everybody. I think that was just for her. It's pretty good, though. If you wanted to make a dodge tank, you can make a strong argument that with the right items, you can get her up to 40 or 50% natural dodge. And then you start stacking toxin trickery. And you can actually have your front two lines be grave robbers with like 80% dodge. And it works reasonably well. I saw somebody run it one time, and I was skeptical. I was like, meh, I don't know. It doesn't look like that's going to work. And then it did. And so what the hell do I know about anything? What's this thing? Stun resistance. I'm going to do it anyways because they don't control me like that. That's right, snail. I'll put this pommel upside. Which part of you is, like, the head? Where is your neck at? Like, what part of you starts the snail? Yeah, I feel like throwing a knife at a snail probably wouldn't work so great. That worked fantastically, though. Good for you, man. Good for you. Let's rearrange our line very quickly. A victory nonetheless. He's got to taunt me while I'm in here. See, that's why I said you were annoying, man. Is because you taunt me while I'm all up in here. And it makes me... This is a horrible fight, by the way. This fight is gnarly. These things have enough dodge to be a major problem for you. And then they also deal a ton of damage. Like, seriously. This is a fight that could go really, really poorly. The best way that I like to run it is to go all in with AoE and hope you get as many of them as possible before the fight's over. Or before they break out of their first turn. Because once they start using spear fishing and whatnot. It's like, oh god! You start holding your breath every single time they attack in the hopes that they don't crit. I have gotten absolutely rocked by this group right here. So, it happens. It happens. We'll pull him up to the front with Abyssal Pull or whatever the hell. Demon's Pull does decent damage too. That's another reason why I like it. It does pretty well. Seaward Slash hurts too. This grouping right here. If they hadn't gotten... If they hadn't gotten surprised, I probably would have puckered a little bit. A fish idol. I forget what this does. Ah! Gives us an aura of strength. I'll try to note that for later. Everything in the cove looks the same to me. Like, everything nautical themed just all looks the same to me. And so I tend to get confused between stuff. So if I get confused, I need to make a cheat sheet for myself. Because my memory is bad and I'm not good at remembering what I'm supposed to be doing. Ooh, two thralls. That's fun. That's enjoyable. I was hoping Abyssal Artillery would get him before this got any worse. Shocker's unfortunate because we need DPS on the first turn. Badly. And if we don't get it, these things explode and oh my god. Once you get to like, the medium and hard missions, the explosion they do does so much damage. It is just a heartbreaking quantity of damage. It's bad. It's really, really bad. By the way, I bought all the armor. If you're wondering where our money went at the beginning of this episode, you might recall that might actually work out worse for me. If you recall, if you were checking my money counter at the beginning of this, you'll note we had less money. That's because I bought the armor and weapons for everybody that's staying so that they have upgraded dodge, they have upgraded HP, and they've got upgraded damage as well. Oh, 250 bucks right there. I'll take it. Is there a fight in this room? There is a fight in this room. Alright. Fight. Fight with a demon and a white. We gotta get away from this guy right here. That is to say, a wicked. A Y I. Or, bleh, I can't spell W I G H T there. That kind of white. I'm gonna kill him off because I don't like his face. I just don't want him. He heals stuff, and healing annoys me. This guy right here can become a problem, too, if you don't get rid of him quickly enough. Eldritch pull, and it worked. A little disappointing, but it's not that big of a setback. I'll roll a stun on him. 
Just to make sure he doesn't protect anybody on this turn, because he'll probably protect her. Which means that we've got a huge, nasty fight in front of us, of us trying to whittle him down. While simultaneously... Oh, please stop critting me. Please stop pulling him around, too. And I can't do shit with him right now. I think he's got the chargey thing, though. I'll go hands from the abyss on her. It's gonna hurt my McGuffin! It's gonna hurt my... It's gonna hurt my light radius, but oh. He's got nobody to attack with Holy Lance. That's funsies. Oh well, we do our best. Barnacle Barrier. That's what I didn't want to happen. Barnacle Barrier is a pain in the ass. It gives him a bunch of prot too. Yeah, it makes it so he takes like no damage at all. We'll spend a turn or so moving people around and it'll probably be fine. It doesn't matter who we attack now because either way all the damage goes to him. This would be one of those times where you'd probably want to stack up some bleeds or something, but I don't think we have any. Such is life. Such is life. Is he still running a stun buff? Doesn't matter. Keep attacking. I think he's got a pretty sizable chunk. Octocestus, I think, has a fat chance of critting because it almost always crits on me. Octocestus is one of those attacks I've learned the name of because it crits so often. I think it's got a really, really high crit chance or something. Not 100% on that. Once again, they don't give you specific numbers on any of these characters. You want to AoE if you can when he does that, because he can't block both of the shots, by the way. I don't know if you knew about that, but it's a workaround. If he's protected somebody, and they're both in the front two slots, you can AoE them, and it'll still work out alright. We are bleeding a lot right now. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Please don't bleed, thank you. Uh, she can't really do much right now, so I'm going to throw that to right there. I'm thinking I should give her a pick to the face or something. I don't know. Probably shouldn't pick at it, but sometimes you gotta pick your face. I don't know. Success so clearly in view. Which of you has the worst bleed? He's got the worst bleed. So let's go ahead and take care of that. His bleed is not so terrible. His bleed is not so terrible. We can offset that with other things. That's worth a thousand. We got 250 right there. Let's eat some food to give us room for big-ass rubies that remind me of the... Oh, that's it? We're done? Good lord. I don't think there's any fights left, either. Like, I think we're done. Kill the torches. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. A map right there. I'm just gonna go down to the end, by the way. I don't know if the darkness messes with your trap disarm skill. Uh, it doesn't look like it. We'll go ahead and disarm that real quick, and then we'll rearrange them. Let me see. She needs something that can hit the front line. Maybe I'll run that for right now. It at least gives her something she can do. The only reason we came down here is so we could come back in and turn around. Jump down, turn around, exploring in a dungeon. Jump down, turn around, I hope I don't get stabbed. <laughs> that song escalated so quickly. We were jumping down and we were turning around and all of a sudden we were worried about getting stabbed. Getting stabbed would suck though. I got stabbed in my leg, not like in like a fight or anything, but I got slashed with a box cutter. Went in my leg like an inch and a half, pretty bad. Not a box cutter actually, it was a knife, it was like a... Yeah, it wasn't a razor actually, it was a... It's like a blocking blade hunting knife. It had an assisted open on it. And the assisted open... I'm not... To this day, I'm really not sure what happened. The assisted open... Kind of like caught when it came out of my pocket. And it did a weird thing in any ways. Stabbed me in my leg with my own knife. It was one of those I feel like an idiot moments, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'll probably just pace around a little while longer. We're not backtracking at all, so as long as we're getting rid of random stuff in our backpack and opening up curios, I'm okay with it. Especially if all the curios are sacks full of treasure. We stand to gain a pretty good fistful of treasure here. Probably loop back this way and just get that last curio and then we'll leave. I don't think there's any secret rooms here. I don't know if you can manually activate the secret rooms. I'm sure somebody's told me in the comments if you can. 
But it doesn't look like there's one right there. If you could activate it, it would be by pressing up on any box when you're in the middle. And so I don't know if it's one of those things that you're just supposed to check and see if it happens or not, but... Did he have... He did. He did. Probably should have played that one earlier, too. Ah, well. Not hurting my feelings none. This right here... Herbs? Anti-Venom? Ah. And so you got six stress heal. I've seen that one give you a bunch of health back, too. Ooh, we got a booby trap right there. With a 10% chance, she managed to get nailed by the booby trap. I mean, good for her, whatever. Not even mad right now. Probably should have stopped at that last thing that we looked at before we left, but... Meh! I'm well beyond the point of caring right now. We want to do right this second is queue up. We can probably fit in another short mission if I hurry. So you can double up on this one. She got Ruins Tactician, Dark Temptation. That's a dangerous one. Thanatophobia isn't awful. I mean, I, I tend to be pretty paranoid about healing my characters. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Mm -hmm. The tragic extent of your failings. Wah, wah. Unless they only give me mediums. If I really hustle this out, how bad is our stress counter right now? I'm going to drop her for bullet. And aside from that, not so bad. Let's upgrade some abilities real fast. I need you, sir. To take those two. I want you to be a better character, so I'm going to have him run the things that I like a lot. Purge is fine. It's not a bad ability or anything. It's just not my favorite. This is usually my favorite configuration for him. Usually. This might leave me with an extra opportunity to cure some problems, too. He's got Dacnomania. And also, by the way, we can lock these if you really feel like spending money right now. If you're that into it, I would recommend locking things such as Weapon Tinker. Things that over the course of the game are going to save you a lot of money. Because I think the last couple upgrades cost like 20,000 gold apiece. And so 20% off of there, you're saving yourself. Just for the last upgrade, you're saving 8,000. And then for the one right before it, you're saving yourself. I think it's 10 for the one before that. So you're saving yourself long run. You're saving yourself about 4,000 gold. If that's not enough to inspire you. You want to focus on other things that give like flat crit, flat prot, things of that nature. Not that expensive to get rid of, so we'll get rid of it right now. And then I think I have other people with diseases too, although she's in my party. She's in my party. That's disappointing. I'm kind of thinking about running Blinding Gas instead of Noxious Blast. They rhyme with each other, but Noxious Blast instead of Blinding Gas is going to hit your ass and it's going to strike real fast. It's going to be gnarly. That works for me, though. I'm not really sold. I guess we could take Vil with us, but Vil is more built for frontline combat. I'd like to get a leper all nice and tuned up, though, for combat. We'll take him. Take six torches, two of you guys. Twelve fuds. Mmm... -hmm. I feel like I forgot something. What did I forget? Last time we didn't use any of the dozen shovels that I brought, so... I can't guarantee we're going to use them this time around, but I'm going to give you a second one right here because I love you that much. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Sorry, I had a mouthful of fluids. It ain't my fault. Oh, I actually need those, though. I'll just let him bleed out for a little while. He'll be fine. Yep, totally worth it. I'll just heal whatever damage he takes. It ain't my fault. Silk the Shocker. There's a name I haven't... Jesus. How many traps you gonna put in the first room? Damn. It's fine. I, mean, I got plenty of food. I don't care. The stress is what I'm more concerned with. Oh, we got a fight, but no curio. Curiouser and curiouser. Not that upset about it, though. That guy wanted to be vomited on. I saw the look on his face. He was like, vomit on me, my lord, please. 
Vomit on my face! Blah, 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 blah. That's not gonna matter. He's gonna shuffle forward. Yep. I should have known better. Wasting my time. I'll try and blight him, but this would be one of those cases where I probably should have put in the... Probably should have put in the stun bombs. Would have been much more useful in this situation. I don't know why I haven't been running stun bombs. It seems like tomfoolery and shenanigans to me. I should have been, but... Should have been, would have been, could have been running bombs. Something, 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 catch 22. Let's go ahead and grope them a little bit and see if I can get his health down low enough to where he dies of the blight. Ooh. It's unfortunate. That's a little bit of a downer. We got plenty of healing stuff, by the way. I love running a Plague Doctor alongside a Occultist. Pretty cool little combo, where if you end up with any unfortunate amounts of bleeding, you can basically fix it straight off the bat. Let's go ahead and handle that. His stress is high, but I can actually fix that. In fact, I more than likely will. Two damage is two damage. He'll probably get to attack before I get anything else off. But... If everybody else could get a turn first, that'd be great. No bleed there. I'm going to throw out a stun and just really, really hope that it doesn't crit. Withstand is going to allow him to drop his stress by 10. That's a really, really big stress heal. It costs him an entire turn, but for realsies, it's not that big of a deal. Like, because you're going to have offlaying turns like that right there where something's just waiting to die, and so... We have two more rooms. This is actually... It's the letter C. Uh, which one does more damage? There we go. I love it when things work according to plan. And they do exactly what I want them to do. Enjoy your blight, you little maggot. I think he's probably gonna die on his next turn. Yep, down he goes. And he doesn't leave a corpse. I love that shit. Shit is the greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and have him keep working on his stress. More than anything, I just don't want to pay to have his stress taken care of. As long as I can limit the expenditures in between missions on, you know, random problems. Makes my life. Please don't. Oh, man. Yeah, I was going to say, in general, that one does not do positive things. You got Vampiric Spirits. Wow. That one could cause you some issues in a place like this. Get some more treasure out of this. Hell yeah. We are, we are looking good. Blue like strangled dreams. How do you strangle something incorporeal? Or are you talking like metaphorically like, I have a dream, and then... Right when the dream starts to pick up momentum, you strangled it, and now it looks like a sapphire. Either way, feels like a stretch to me. Feels like a stretch to me. Such blockages are unsurprising. I probably would have gone with blue, like battered flesh. I hope we don't get surprised. Oh, good, they got surprised. I like it when they're surprised. He's a swine wrench. Just in case you really, really... I'm going to pull his ass up to the front. Come here! Dude, how awesome would it be to be able to pull, like, a tentacle out of the beyond and force it to strangle somebody? It's like force choking, but it's got the added terror of, like, a big Cthulhu-like thing coming out of the ether. That'd be the best, man. As long as I get rid of him on this turn, I don't really care. I'll probably run stress heals from here on in. Munch, munch, munch the lunch that I'm going to brunch on you is going to be so good. It's going to be so great. Let's pull him up to the front. Yoink. Oh, it killed the... Okay, that's cool. It killed the corpses. Hooray. Are they immune to blight? What's their blight resist? 100%. We may have to have somebody attack here. Yeah. That works. Whatever. See Exhibit A for why lepers are one of my favorite characters. Once you get their hit chance up, they are just... They are beasts. Yay! We surprised him again, too. I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll do an abyssal pull right here. 
And assuming it works out for us, let's throw some blight on these chapos. A blight on him, so that works. Do some damage right there, and I'll probably work on little pig, little pig. No! It's just too dodgy. It's just too dodgy for me. He's got like his MJ moves in the dungeon, just like moon walking away from my attacks. Well, I guess moon knuckling away from my attacks. His legs don't really touch the ground, do they? It's unfortunate. Upper arm strength is a go, though. You'd think with all the other random shenanigans they're building down here, they'd build a wheelchair for him. Or, I don't know, like a sled or something. Yay, more groping! My gropings will have you noping. A little bit more damage right there. Hmm. You seem to be in a precarious situation right now. Chain stun's messing up my life. Gotta get rid of a corpse. Although, I guess I could have used the pull to do it. That was probably a waste. Really, he's gonna ball and chain him again. And still get the stun. Wow. Even with the plus 20% resist, still made the stun. Still made the stun. Oh, well. It's unfortunate. Nice resist out right there. I'm gonna have him work on his stress for just a second. You too. I'll deal with the corpse in a minute and then we'll kill him off. Go ahead and run that on him. Always remember that if you've got blight on her and bleed on him or whatever debuff, you should always cure the other person. She can cure herself, but then you don't get the double cure. So it's a waste. To use that ability at its maximum capacity, you should always cast it on somebody else if you've got both your Plague Doctor and somebody else bleeding and or poisoned. Work on that stress a bit, although the game is going to realize I'm stalling in just a second. I got to throw out an attack here somewhere. Actually, I think it might be on the sixth turn you get caught with the... Might be on the sixth turn no matter what you start taking stress from the fight taking too long. Either way, this will be over in just a minute. Man, he loves that he loves that plague doctor. For whatever reason, he is just on that plague doctor. There we go. That'll get us out of here without any bonus stress. That'll probably be our last fight. Oh, I guess not. I thought we were further in anyways. I'm sorry. I thought we were way further into the dungeon. This right here. Maybe you herb it? Yeah, you herb it. I knew you used one of the curative items on it, and it'd work for you. Used all my band-aids already, so unfortunately not going to help much there. This is looking like a banner run for us. We're doing pretty well. Making that Skrills us. Who's good at traps here? Oh, we have nobody that's good at traps. Sorry, Doc. You're up first. It's got to be you. Still not in the worst shape we could be, but... We'll do okay. Got to get out of here, though. Oh, we got two more fights. Technically, like, four more with things in between. This could still go very, very badly for us. We still have not won completely. Not the worst fight as far as stress is concerned, especially considering I've got so many people that can reduce their own stress at no cost to themselves. I'm going to throw out some Blight over here. I'm going to get her started so that she dies on the next turn, if possible. And that is precisely what I meant, actually. That works great. That looks perfect. Bump in the night. He's going to dodge that one. I'm going to throw a cleave out right there. And yeah, I figured it would kill her, but oh well. Oops, that was an accident. If you look at where my clicker was, technically I clicked him, but I don't know. Sometimes this game's weird like that. Be blighted. Enjoy your face melting off, you cultist bastard. You heretic! I was gonna make a joke about baldatics, but I don't know. Feeling lazy right now. Feeling lazy. No, not five damage! Cinco, no! Hey, 
I think I like you better diseased. Enjoy your syphilis. I cooked it up in the lab this morning. Eh. Probably just run solemnity on him. Let's finish it, I guess. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to stall a little while. A little bit of cash and a couple of crests. A few more treasures, it'll be the best. I don't think I can stack those right now, so the proper thing to do would be to do that. So that we end up, we got 16 crests and 4 busts. Not a banner run as far as bonus items are concerned. We're still doing okay. Still doing okay. No diseases! Okay, no diseases. Jesus, please. No diseases. I may just focus on abyssal artillery and something like that on the back line. And just like hope we fish something out. I don't know. I don't feel like rearranging them. I told you, I'm feeling lazy. Shit's weird like that. Butcher's cut. Please don't cut my butt, you slut. He's gonna munch though, and I know munch does bonus damage versus anybody that's marked. I'm gonna go ahead and have him heal through it. There's the one shot. Eight more damage out. God, I love Abyssal Artillery. No diseases! Cool. It's nothing worse than going in a dungeon and coming out with a clap. Which sounds like it would be a super fun disease. Like, clapping is a positive thing, right? Not in this game. If you end up getting that applause, you are not going to appreciate it. Be cured! That shit must be infuriating for characters that stack dots. Hmm. You ruined my strategy. Now I gotta stab the guy with the drum. Which in colonial sense makes me feel kinda... Makes me feel kinda like a douchebag. I'm gonna stab the guy with the drum. He's inspiring everybody else. That's what he gets. Get some of this stress taken care of. She's gonna have to be checked in somewhere after we get out of here. Not gonna have much of an option there. I should've stunned him. Oh. The weirdly rare dodge coming from our leper right there. The oddly rare dodge. I suppose I'll throw out a heal. There's really no point, but if it works, it works. Whatever. And down he goes. Finally got a chance to use up all these keys. Were there any more barriers in front of us? Okay, goodbye, shovel. Yay! Things that stack! Two more fights and we're up and out of here. It's been a pretty good run for us, though. It's been a pretty solid run. Don't think I'm gonna need the anti-venom anytime soon. Not gonna mess with that, because I think I'm all out of herbs or whatever it is you need to purify that ish. Another little group of piggy men. Aw, oh, man, you got the agu. Pull him to the front. And I guess we'll disease him. Hmm, it worked. Not a hook where it hurts. That's obviously... Uh, that's obviously... I mean, you know where I just got hit. Ah! Ooh, coming through, coming through. Got groped by a doctor today. Had to do the whole turn your head and cough thing. Which, weirdly, no matter how many times you do it, never gets more awkward. Every single time, it's like, alright, drop your pants. And I was like, I was questioning the whole thing. I was like, the whole way? Or just like, partially? Like, how much space do I have to give you to work with? Because I feel like if I give you too many degrees of freedom, this could go really wrong for me. <laughs> it's so hard for me to go to the doctor's office. I got too many jokes. I got too many smart-ass remarks. Like, it's the worst when I go to the doctor's office. Because I want to make jokes the whole time. To diffuse the tension or whatever. And, I don't know, I feel like it just makes it, my j the jokes are funny. It's not like I'm going for B jokes here. These are, these are jokes that, these are goodens. These are goodens. These are jokes pertaining to like, who do I give my pee to? How far down do you need my pants to go? These are legitimate questions, I feel. This expedition uh, at least promises success. Ooh. It's important to note that the chirurgeon's charm 
will not make the so what I assume the first time I saw this was that it would negate the one and so it'd make it so you always heal for one no matter what I don't think it works like that I think I've still rolled a zero even after equipping the charm it does however seem to help with the top upper bound I guess <laughs> you guys are you guys are surprised I'm gonna cleave you super hard we're going all in right now it's gonna be unpleasant you might as well just get on board with it assuming I don't miss this could be a really really bad day for all of you why do you breathe so much when you're dying should you be doing the opposite he exhales like an asthmatic smoker when he dies I don't know I figured there would be an absence of breathing to note him being dead it would just be silence nah, I I love it when a fight goes the way I want and even my occultist got to kill somebody. Nobody feels left out. Remind yourself. We can do, if we had herbs, we could fix that, but we don't have herbs, so let's return to the hamlet. Some experiments. I, I actually want to see the synopsis of how much money I made here. Natural Swing would be one of the ones you would want to lock, by the way. That's one of the good ones right there. That one you would want to lock on anybody that throws knives or shoots guns. There are very specific ones that when you see them, you'll know them. You'll know them when you see them. That is the end of our episode. You guys got a long one here today because I feel like I was cheating you by stopping at 14 minutes. I'll see you all next time. This is Darkest Dungeon. Bye, everybody.